Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to Predatory Exotics. So today we've got another new animal. We've got an amphibian for you guys. So we've picked up a Pac-Man frog, which I'll show you in just a little bit. But first of all, we're going to be doing a tank setup for you guys and then showing which one we've got. So we're going to be keeping it in our habosphere, which is located just down here. Uh, we've already attached the heat mat and the probes, that's all warming up. But we're going to be putting in our soil, some plants and a nice little hide. And that's pretty much it. And a water dish, of course. And that would be all for our Pac-Man frog. So let's go ahead and start putting everything in. So, as per usual, we're going to be using the Arcadia Supercharged Earth Mix, which we're going to fill up nice and deep so it has enough room to burrow. And, of course, this tank will last it for pretty much most of its life. Uh, it's quite a small run right now. But we're going to go ahead and fill this up with a few inches of soil. And as you can see, we have now filled it up with a few inches of substrate, giving it enough room to burrow, especially at the size that it is. Uh, now, of course, we have the heat mat and the probe uh, attached to the back. This is more for a like safety measure because um, they can drop at night time towards 18. You don't really want them going below 18 degrees Celsius. I think that's about 65 in Fahrenheit. So it's just kind of a precautionary measure just to make sure that no uh, temperature drops below that. Our ideal room, temp ideal room temperature is around 20 to 22 which is great for this species. Uh, during the day, we're going to want it a bit hotter, so I've got the temperature set to about 24 at the back, so it should heat up nicely and keep it nice throughout the night as well. So next up, we're going to be adding in this plant and over here, this little hide as well. Uh, just going to add it in for a bit of an enrichment, you know, give it some hiding spots and uh, kind of a place to start making a burrow. I know they'll move their burrows like around, like from where they actually like uh, sit, but it'll be a nice little starter one, which we're going to put more towards the warmer side where the heat mat is. Um, so we're going to go and put these in now. So this is a top opening. We have a review on uh, this um, habosphere because, of course, it's a bit more of an unusual one than your average uh, exoterra because, of course, how it is. Um, so we're going to go ahead and bury that nicely in the soil there. So it adds kind of this, like, you know, a bit, bit of enrichment for it. And then we're going to go ahead and open up this one oh, once I can actually get it open with one hand oh they've put like a staple in they've stapled it to the wood which is annoying so I'm going to have to go ahead and remove those staples these ones here uh, so I'll be back in just a second okay they were extremely annoying to get out but we're going to go ahead and burrow this into this corner over here and uh, yeah it should just slot in nicely Then next, of course, we're also going to be adding in a water bowl for it. We're going to be putting it right in the centre here. And, of course, it's going to have non-chlorified water inside it as well. Dechlorified is what I should say, uh, which we use with RepTiSafe. So I'm going to go ahead and take the tag off and put that in the middle. There we go. And, of course, time to actually spray down the enclosure in general. Getting it nice and moist for the frog. There we go. Wonderful. So, this is basically what the final result is. Pac-Man don't need a lot in general, uh, which is always good. Uh, kind of low maintenance. Just got to make sure that you uh, get your temperatures right. Um, pretty much, it. They, they do well at ideal like, room temperature. You just got to make sure they don't drop below 18. That's pretty much it. And in terms of enrichment, of course, they have you know a hide a bowl and a plant and this is your basic pac-man setup um, and of course we also do have the two gauges on the side which is going to read humidity and uh, temperature as well but we'll be bringing out a full care guide on how to care for this species but i think it's now time to finally put the frog in its new enclosure and as you can see we have now got a lime green pac-man frog okay i'm gonna i'm gonna open the tub to get a bit of a closer look at it and there he is we, of course, don't know the gender, but look how cute. Look how cute it is. So it's quite juvenile right now. Uh, I'll, of course, show you how big it is once we get it out and put it in uh, the new enclosure. But, yeah, this is what it looks like. So this is a lime green Pac-Man, quite similar to the albino. It looks quite albino right now. Uh, but the green, once it grows up, will uh, come through a lot more. Uh, there's some of it on its back legs starting to come through. But, yeah, here we go. We haven't thought of a name yet, so don't forget to leave a name. Uh, suggestion down below 
but I think it's time to put it in, in the enclosure. And this is what it looks like. He's jumped out of his hole now, uh, he or she. Now, of course, when handling frogs, you want to use gloves um, or just get your hands super wet because, of course, they absorb through their skin. So you're not going to want to give them all those bad chemicals that you've got lying around on your skin. So quickly, I'm just going to go ahead and put him in his new enclosure. And there we go. As you can see, he jumped in. I'll give you a close-up now. Just got to wash my hands. And there we go. The newest addition to Predator Exotics. Our lime green Pac-Man frog. Going to make himself nice at home. Probably going to be digging a tunnel. Uh, probably going to be digging a little place for him to sit in. Because these are sitting weight predators. They're not going to be doing much. I'm not going to be feeding it today as they fed it in the store when we bought it today. Uh, but that will be coming out in a Sunday's video soon. Um, yeah. We'll give you a full care guide of what we're feeding it and uh, how we're going to be caring for this uh, new addition. So there we go. All in, all in its new home. And plenty of room for it to grow, as you can see. Um, and it's just going to get acquainted with its new surroundings. So, <clears throat> oh, there we go. I'll give you a little bit of uh, footage of it moving around in its new clank now. So we've done a bit of a uh, change up of actually um, how uh, the setup on the racking is. We've moved the uh, corn snake to the bottom because of course this uh, bulb here is going to uh, put ambient temperature up into this tank, uh, warming up the front side as well as having the heat mat on the back side. Uh, so it is of course uh, reading nice temperatures right now. So I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, the new new addition to Predator Exotics and of course the setup for the Pac-Man Frog. Uh, super awesome species, can't wait for it to get nice and fat, these guys get pretty big. Uh, because we will be bringing out a care guide as well. Um, so don't forget to leave a like on this video, don't forget to leave a name suggestion down below, of course we haven't named um, it yet and we're going to try and think of a name. But if you guys have any suggestions, don't forget to leave them down in the in the comment section. Come on, I can do the outro. Uh, down in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram as well for all our daily updates. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.